Hello, my name is Lala Daniels. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make this. It is a marble idea box. But the one that, that I'm going to be making is actually going to be a penny idea box. So the idea is that you can take marbles. And whenever you have a brilliant idea, you can put the marble in the box. Then when you get enough marbles in the box, like 5, 10, 15, 30, 20, whatever, you can get a, you can get a prize. To make one of these, you need tacky glue and sharp scissors. Be careful because these can actually hurt you. Well, the tacky glue really can't, but it can get your fingers stuck together and that can be rather uncomfortable. Then you need some colored pencils and markers and pens and crayons. Then you need one of these things to point to things. Then you need a box. I've already actually started mine a little bit. And you need a piece of paper that can cover up the, la the label on your box. And I, this is actually a cut off magic card. You can get these from a store or you can get them from a family member if someone plays magic. But if you do not, it, but if they, it may cause them great pain. Then, these over here are the decorating things. You can have ribbon, Mardi Grubbies, beads, bottle caps, and bottle caps. But be careful, you do not want bottle caps that say Dew Point or Russian River. Those are just plain weird, so out with those. But you can keep the ones with cool designs on them. Then you can take rings. Make sure that they're not fancy or anything special. I, these two actually came from a vending machine. One of those quarter machines. And I'm actually, since this is going to be a penny box, I'm going to take, I'm going to glue some pennies on. Um, make sure it's okay with your parents, since pennies are money. You can make some trinkets. See, and some sea glass. You can glue all of these on them. Make sure it's okay with your parents first. Because sometimes sea glass can be very pretty and very beautiful. So I'm going to continue making this one. Okay, you can zoom it now. Okay, so I'm going I've actually already glued a forest magic card on this. Now I'm going to take take some pennies, pick out a nice shiny looking one. This one, see, is actually 2003, so I'm going to put some glue on the side that I don't want to be showing. This one is Abraham Lincoln's head. No offense, Abraham, but I don't like the look of your head on my box. So, you put the glue on, then you carefully, ever so carefully, put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it right here. And just hold it down for a few seconds. And then you can start on your second one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm just do. This one is actually going to be a heads one. Like heads and tails. Look cool. pretty cool in my mind. And hold it down. This is what it looks like so far. Then, I'm going to take some, this is actually a very ingenious idea. This is a little bag. I'm going to take the little bag, make sure that the top is open, put my hand in the bag, and since my box has a little clear opening in it, do this, make sure that the pattern is facing this one, and kind of push that down a little bit, so that it's facing that side. Then I'm actually going to put a little bit of tacky glue on, on the back, below the little string thing. Below this bit, so that way I can still open and close it. Put some tacky glue there. And press down a little bit. Now, that should hold in place. I'm also going to do this to the front. And my two pennies just fell off, so make sure that that doesn't happen to you. Do the this whole bag thing first. Good. Put the tape. Put some more of this on. And glue it on. 
so it should look like this. And then you can continue you on with your decorating. I'm going to reapply these pennies. Make sure that they look pretty shiny so that way they stand out. Then I'm actually going to take one of these rings. This is a bit tricky. Actually, first I'm going to put on the label. It's going to say, a penny for your thoughts. Well, a penny for your ideas. So. Uh. Penny. Or. Your. I use a different color for this, but. I D Us. That spells right. Yes. I was just making sure that I spelled it right, and spelling isn't my, isn't the best thing I do. So it says now it says a penny for your ideas. Then you can proceed on with decorating. I'm gonna take some more Eurobeads and make sure that they're. Not and put them like so. You put a little bit of glue on the side. Take the glue and you can put a little bit here. Remember, yours does not have to look exactly like mine. I'm just putting out some ideas. And then I can glue it here. Then you hold it here and try to make sure that it doesn't fall off. I'm going to redo this idea. So I'm going to use this little bit of cloth here. Make sure that you have a little bit of extra cloth or a napkin to wipe all, to wipe away all of this extra glue. Since you don't want, I mean, if you're making an art project, you wouldn't have one to have this big smear of glue across it, would you? So I'm going to decorate the back now. I take a ma some magic cards. I'm going to look for one that I like. Let's see. And there's, I think, this one and these. I'm just going to keep on looking. These all look pretty cool. So you can look for your favorite one. So far, I sorted it down to um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And you can kind of estimate how big they will be. So you can put down three. And put one here. And I quite like this one, so that. Then you cut them out. Any magic players, look away. This may cause you great pain. Carefully cut out the picture. I borrowed these magic cards from my dad, the cameraman. Turn around the camera and say hello to the world. No. <laughs> that is my dad. What's your name, Dad? Dad. His name is Dad, and that's the only thing we'll be referencing him to. So you can cut out the picture. And I'm going to be doing this a few more times with a few more magic cards. I like these, the look of these playing cards, these planes. That's the name of the basic land for light, whatever it's called. What's this called, Dad? Planes. Plane. No, I mean the symbol. That's the plane symbol. No, I, no, I mean what? This white? White is planes. Okay, this is the white, white land. Yes. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit. Green is, green is forest, red is mountain, black is swamp, okay, and so blue is, is island. As you can obviously see, magic isn't really my thing as well as spelling. Neither of them are really my thing. So I'm just kind of cutting these out right now and putting them in a nice safe place right here. Now, I'm actually I think I might cut out this mountain because it looks pretty cool. Check that, I'm going to cut out the 
Bayou Swamp picture. This looks pretty cool. Cutting out basically the ones that I think look awesome. And then I'm going to put these on the back. Cutting carefully. So if you really like the look of Magic Card, do not cut like this, like this, like that, or actually, I might actually do that. Cut. That's it. Cool like that. That's pretty cool like that, don't you think? Oh, hold up. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Now you can take the tacky glue and glue carefully so that it's like on the inside. Don't put it on the very outer because otherwise the glue will spread and it'll get on the outside of it. So I'm going to put that at kind of an angle. Press that down a little bit. Then you do the same thing for your other one. Remember, you do not have to do what I'm doing. You can do anything else. Always be careful with, with what you're doing, because it may not always turn out good. This is another one that I'm making. And once again, I'm kind of placing it at an angle, so it looks really cool. Being careful with it. Then you take your final one, and you, once again, do the exact same thing. That makes sure it's all nice and kind of spread out with the glue. That way, you don't really have to worry about it getting all the edges covered. Like this. So now, you have your a penny for your idea box. And, as you can see, since I left these bits free, you can also close up your box. Now it looks awesome, and it's ready for use. Actually, cut that. I'm going to add more stuff. As you can see, one thing about me is that I like to kind of over-decorate. So, I'm going to kind of fold this up like this. It's kind of cool. No, I don't think that looks good. That kind of looks just cheesy. I'm going to use these ball caps. Put one. The way that you put on the bottle cap is special. You do not just be careful about it. You have to actually make this big thing a little bit bigger than your bottle cap. Or ring or whatever. I made it pretty big. Then you take your bottle cap and make sure that it doesn't have any weird words on it. Because that can be a killer. Daddy, don't take anything but... Don't take my special herbs. So, put it carefully on. I have to, have to put a little bit more glue on that. So just put it, pile on the glue. You need a whole bunch of glue for this so that way it will stay on. Since you only have a little bit of space for it to cling. Push down a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wait. Then you flip it over. Make sure that doesn't fall off immediately. Then you do the same. It fell off immediately. No. Just reapply. Be careful. Just put it like this on your leg. That way it won't fall off. It will have to be forced to press into it. Then you can redo it. I'm just being careful. I'm being as careful as a, let's see, what's not careful? I'm being as careful with my bro as my brother, who is not careful. This. Then, since these things are kind of peeling off a little bit, I'm just going to kind of re-glue them on. You can, you can do this with glue sticks, and you can do this with every, some other things. Reapply these. Okay, this thing. These ball caps don't like me very much. Obviously, they don't like me. Just kind of make sure that all of your pictures, whether they're from cards or from maybe your vacation, or I don't know. This is. This is so take your little 
washout thingy. And since I just completely messed up that bit, those are not going to be featured. <laughs> okay, guys. Sorry about that. I ran out of memory for a second. So where was I? Oh, yeah. I was wiping off this stuff. I wiped that off. And now I'm going to work on this stuff a little bit. Glue and I have to make sure that this stays down and stays glued. You can also, if you want, you can find some tape and you can tape this down. That would probably work better right now. So, now your, your penny for your idea box is done. Thank you for watching and bye! I hope you like my video, so please write and comment and maybe even send in videos of how, of how you made yours. I, I want to, I'd like to see your ideas, so stay creative and stay you. Bye! Oh, and you can also expect a whole bunch of fives and then me talking some more. Okay. I have blue on my thighs! Okay, so, here's the thing. This is, I might be doing some more stuff, like shout outs, where I shout out to the good things in my life, like family members and such. And I may also be doing Minecraft videos, more craft videos, and random videos. Okay, so, thank you and bye! For real, please. Hello there, it's me, it's me, Lag Black again. And today I'm going to be telling you about tarot cards and how to read your future. So the way that this works is, let me just put this here. You shuffle your cards. I'm not doing a very. I'm just gonna shuffle it like this because I'm making. Because I only have one hand to do this. Shuffle. Because I have to make sure. And here's another thing. If you're going to make a video about it, or you're going to do, do a tarot card reading for your friends, make sure that all the tarot cards are age-appropriate, since sometimes they're not. They can include death and other stuff. So, finish shuffling your cards. Then. Then, this is what I'm going to do. Take your cards, kind of do this. Then you take three cards. One. Two. Three. Then you take the rest of your cards and put them off to the side. Then you take your first card. My first card makes no sense. So, if the card makes no sense, you say, I'm sorry, but this is unclear. Please take another. Then you put it off the side. Put it here. Take a new one. Then, you take the card. You flip it over, and this, this makes sort of sense. This one can be used as, you're going to be going on a long travel, and leave one, two, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, seven. Wait, is that seven? Wait, one, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you are going to be going on a long journey and you're going to be leaving eight things behind. Then this one is a page of pentacles. So just ignore most of the names since the names make absolutely no sense. And you're going to be saying, you're going to be receiving something truly beautiful. And this one is, you're going to be having a bunch of battles with sticks. A.K.A. my brother might come over to your house. No, not really. So this one makes not really much sense. So you can do the same thing that you did with the other card in the beginning. Put over there. Say, I cannot make sense from this card. Please take another. And I got Ace of Tentacles. It means you're going to be having two precious things. So then you can also then when you put them all together, so precious thing, precious thing. Wait, rose garden. So maybe you're going to be going to a rose garden with a precious thing, but then you're going to have to go on a travel and leave eight things behind. It may not make sense, but it's tarot reading. It doesn't really have to. Or you can go online and look up the meanings of all these.
Which would you rather do? Make up your own or spend hours figuring out what one means? Your choice. I'll be back, maybe back with more tarot readings of real people.